Yep, that's my money pile. That's my Bolo Buddies merch. That's my money pile. It's getting bigger. Yeah. All right, you guys, you want to ship with me? Um, we are going to pull some packages. I'm going to show you some big money bolos. I'm going to show you some bread and butter stuff I sold last night. And we're going to get those items shipped out. I'm going to give you some shipping tips, just some things that you guys have asked me along the way. Um, I'm going to kind of answer some of those questions. As we do this, I've got the two mystery boxes I got from the thrift store that are going to be in this video. We're going to talk a little bit about what's coming to whatnot. So it's a vlog. Hang out with me. My phone just went cha-ching and it's one of my favorite sleepers. One of these items that I always find and I cannot grab it fast enough and I usually get them for like a quarter, okay? It's a sleeper, so stay tuned. If you've watched me for a while, you're gonna know about this one, but if you're new. Are we gonna find some treasures? Are we gonna find some junk? Okay, I'm being a little obnoxious. It's really not this cold. <laughs> But anyway, I've got a couple mystery boxes here and I have not done a mystery box in forever. And I was like, I've been going to the Goodwill bins and I just haven't done them. But I wanted to go and sh just rummage around the thrift store and ask them if they had any mystery boxes. They had a couple. Um, number one, it's Christmas time. So all of their Christmas stuff is out. So I'm not expecting to find much in these. But hey, you never know. So we are gonna dig through a $7 box and a $12 Christmas mystery box. So let's get to it. Hey, here are some of the cool vintage items that are gonna be coming to my Whatnot show on Sunday night. Uh, this one lights up and is absolutely adorable. Um, this one is a tree topper. It's got the original tag, it's still attached. Darling. We've got this little elf on this uh, ball. Oh my goodness, it's just incredible. Somebody used it as an ornament. We've got this little Santa. We have this little guy. Oh my goodness, the cuteness, it's like on a strawberry. We have this, and this is just some of the stuff that I will be bringing. Um, there's more in this video, so stay tuned, but um, these are some of the little highlights that I just think are incredible. And then this little doll, look at her. She's like on this little uh, bells and I don't know what, I guess it's an ornament. But look at her face. Oh, oh my goodness. So be sure to come to my whatnot auction. Again, the link's down below. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I am prepping for my whatnot show that is going to be on Sunday night. That's the plan. I'm thinking nine o'clock, but uh, my link's down below. So if you click on that, you can um, just follow me and it should alert you. Um, I'm going to go through a couple mystery boxes that I just picked up from the thrift store, see if there's anything I can find for the show. I'm gonna show you some other stuff that I'm bringing and it should be a lot of fun. I've had two Christmas shows. This will be my third and probably final Christmas show. And then we're gonna move on to other things that I'll be selling. I'm hoping to do some toys, vintage lingerie, crafts, uh, vintage clothing, just a whole hodgepodge of stuff. So make sure you are following me on whatnot. And I'm gonna show you some more stuff that I'm for sure bringing on Sunday night. All right, so the other night I was doing a whatnot show and somebody was interested in this, if I found the eyeball. I found the eyeball and I glued it back on. So it's just a vintage old uh, Mickey Mouse, pretty cool. Um, I did pick these up since the show. I kind of went sourcing for whatnot. I haven't looked them up, but they say HV series, department 56. I don't know, there's some in there, I haven't really looked. I found some shiny bright for you guys, super cute. I found this bag of ornaments that I kind of need to go through. Not sure what all's in there. It looks like Bart Simpson, looks like there's a Boyd's bear, some cute stuff. And look at these little flocked um, reefs, probably handmade. And then there's some uh, wood decorations down here. So anybody that has like a uh, rustic type uh, country tree, little farm tree. So I'm going to be bringing those. 
And then I've got this, which I need to go through still. I'm um, not sure what all is in here. We've got this box. Um, so I'm going to go through that tote. So there might be some stuff from that. But, oh, this beauty right here, this fiber optic, she's coming. I've got her plugged in. See her glistling and working? She's fiber optic. She is fantastic. She's by Kurt Adler. So she'll be coming to the show. So I hope to see you there Sunday night. And let's go unbox some mystery boxes. Oh, and I'm still going through the garage. So there'll probably be more stuff than just this. All right, I'm gonna try something here. So I'm gonna be doing the unboxing, but I'm gonna cut in with things that I sold and it's gonna kind of bounce back and forth. Let's see how this looks. It might be awful. It might be great. All right, I cut the sides to make this easier. So they're already cut. We're just gonna, I don't even know if the top was taped. Oh yeah, it's taped across the, well, that's weird. That's awkward. Okay, let's see what's in this. Are we going to find some treasures? Are we going to find some junk? <laughs> okay. Um, it's pretty empty, really. Uh, Arts and Crafts Company. I will be donating that. Okay, what's this? Uh, huh. I don't know what that is. I thought maybe it was some type of warmer, but it's not in good condition. So I will be donating that. Let's look at this guy. He's cute. He is Snowflake. He is a Rust Berry. He looks good. He, he's really cute. Uh, I will do something with him. Either list him or figure something out. Photo album. This is from Diane... Authors, it looks like. Arthur's, 2005. I can probably get that off with a dry erase marker. I can try to list that. It's okay. It's new old stock, right? I will donate that. It's cute, but I... Oh, what's this? I like these guys. I like these guys. What's it say on the bottom? It's a Jim Shore. I thought it might be. Okay, so this I can probably, as long as it's not permanent marker, I can get that off with a dry erase marker. That right there is a super score. Okay, so I'm pretty. All right, guys, we're just going to turn this into a vlog because I've got some items to ship out. And whoo, look at that wild hair. And um, I'm going to show you my little uh, whatnot station here and let you guys see kind of what I've got going on. And then we're going to ship some sold items. Okay, so for my whatnot show, I'm trying to get organized. This is some of the stuff I've shown. I think I'm going to put these in the buy it now. Um, this tote is full of stuff. These will be in the buy it now. These will be in the buy it now. Somebody messaged me, wanted this little gal. So um, some of these things I've already shown. This will all be new stuff. Um, I did not finish going through this bag. I did not get to everything in this tote. I've got these cake decorating um they're really, really cool. They're magazines. I mean, look at that. That is so cool. I haven't quite decided if I'm bringing these or what I'm going to do with them. I picked them up at a garage sale a few years ago, and they've just been sitting, um, and I haven't listed them. So I was thinking about bringing them. I've got some more ornaments down here. I've got some more ornaments down here. Yes, these are jeans. I get more comments from you guys about my uh, background. Everybody thinks they're curtains. They're actually jeans. So this is my little whatnot setup. I'm excited, feeling good, feeling good. Um, oh, these are like little clippies. These are cute. I mean, they're not like expensive, but wonder if they're all like on a, a string and then you hang them. I mean, not expensive, but cute. Somebody might want that. This is a crazy mountain. Looks pretty good except for the snowman is missing its nose so that'll be donated all right what do we have here we have a bird and then this angel here those aren't too bad except for there's a gem missing there the other side looks okay so perhaps we'll see 
Um, if you guys are not following me on Whatnot, come on over. I am Bolo Buddies over there. There's a link down below. And if you guys are not on Whatnot already, you can use that link and you can get um, $15 to shop. Free money, okay? Free money. Come follow me on Whatnot. So I'm doing live shows and it's auctions if you're not familiar with it. And if you want to sell on Whatnot, this is definitely good. Um, if you want to sell on Whatnot, there is a link down below also. It's... Um, I guess if you use my referral link to sell, it lets them know that you used my link. And from what I hear, you're more likely to get approved more quickly. So I know that when I use somebody's link, their seller link, I got approved very quickly. So I'll probably just donate that. I don't know. I mean, it's cute, but it doesn't, it's not like a name brand or anything. Uh, let's see. I mean, it's cheap, but it's kind of cute. Ding, ding, ding. Maybe put it with something else. Okay. So these are all just like a little set of, there's a tree. I'll put those to the side. Somebody may be interested in those. That's kind of cute. It looks like you put like a little candle in it. It's not bad. This I will use to ship things in. I love getting little tins like that. This box has actually been pretty good. This is the White House Christmas 2001. It's good to go. I've sold those before. I think I actually have some in my eBay store, but I think I might bring these to whatnot. Perfect. These are really nice. Merry Christmas. Oh, look. That's kind of cute. It's just a little cheapy $3 thing, but it's cute. I'll probably just donate it. Ooh, ooh, hallelujah. Yes, I love these. Oh my gosh, they're incredible. Made in Taiwan. They're candle holders. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes and yes. And there's two of them. Those are incredible. I have sold, um, I've never seen one actually that's a candle holder. So those are incredible. So I will probably be bringing those to whatnot also. That's just some something. Maybe somebody like fake branches. This is cool. It's a little deer. I might keep that. It's kind of cute. I think it's some sort of paper mache. It's not vintage or anything. We have this star. I'll probably just donate that. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let's see. It is by Made in China. I don't know. It's weighted on the bottom. It's got some staining on it. I'll probably just donate that. We have a mug, a holiday mug. Mugs are, you know, they can be expensive to ship. This is Greenbrier, which is the dollar store. So I won't mess with that. This was originally $20 at Bon Ton department stores. Huh. It's kind of cute, right? I'll keep that. Let's see what this is. This is by Kohl's, originally $20. It's a candle. It's kind of heavy. It's kind of cute. Never burned. I don't know, I might keep that also because I need more stuff. Oh, and we got more angels. Yay! Let's see what's in here. Ouch! They're staples. Hold on a minute. Okay. <laughs> This is all my listed stuff. So we're going over to Tote. G, G, oh goodness me, it's not there. It's over here. And I gotta like snuggle in and I've got them all marked. See how that says G, G? So I'm gonna pop this open and I've got everything. I try to bag everything no matter what it is. It helps me keep things separated. And the funny thing is, it says that it's in tote GG. 
and I feel like it's not in tote GG and it's not. So I have already messed up with labeling my item. Is it over here? Oh my goodness. I feel like it's over there. I feel like it's over there. I don't know. Let's see if my memory serves me correctly. Um, most of these totes here are plush. I feel like it was in one of these. Oh my goodness. This is not a great start here. Let me get those out of the way. So we're looking for a Disney plane. I cannot believe I lost it. I'm trying to think what I was listing. Actually, maybe it's over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where are you Disney plane? So, okay. I was listing so much stuff that I kind of got some of my, um, some of my shipments in the wrong, in the wrong spot. So I'm going to be completely honest. This happens to me sometimes. And now I got to find it. Where are you? But I don't want that to happen. So this is all plush. Now people have asked about plush. And a lot of people think that plush just sells super fast. It doesn't always sell super fast. Um, sometimes it's very long tail. So I got to find this item. I will check. Oh, I just found it. <laughs> it's right here. Hello. Okay. So this is a Disney, um, Disney store planes. It's missing the little tag here. I got this free um, a viewer messaged me, reached out, and she said, I've got to have this plush out of my house, but I need you to come tomorrow. You can have it all free. And I said, okay, I'll figure it out. So I went and picked up like, I think eight huge trash bags full of plush. And I have everything listed. There's going to be a video coming, but this is one of the items that I got and I just sold it. So let's go pack it up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh it and it's about nine ounces, but we've got these wings. So I gotta figure out if I'm gonna put this in a poly mailer, um, a bubble mailer, or if I'm gonna put this in a box because of the wings. So let me see what I can figure out here. I need to keep it in the first class weight class, I do believe. Let me go on here and see if I put it under priority mail or first class. I may have done priority mail just because, yes, I did priority mail because of the shape. So we're gonna box this up in a, one of these right here. It is a shoe box. You can get USPS boxes off of the website for free. So definitely take advantage of that. The shoe box is a great item to ship other things besides shoes in. I do get questions about how I ship plush. I usually use a uh, bubble mailer, but for this situation, and they probably want it quick because Christmas is coming, I'm gonna leave it in the bag. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because this is cardboard and if it gets wet, we could have a problem. I'm gonna kind of tuck the wings up and push it down in to keep those wings from getting uh, damaged. And then I just shut it and it's ready to ship. So. Love this box right here. The shoe box, if you're not ordering it, definitely order it. It is a great, great size. I thought I was recording, so let's do this again. This little angel was in there, and this little guy, but he has no markings, so, but he's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna call that first box a home run, because I found some pretty cool stuff in it. All right, let's see if this one's any good. $7 for this one. We are entering the other tote room. <laughs> um, I have some thermal cacique. Oh my goodness, let me move this tote so I can get through here. Um, there's a lot of tote moving around. I will say that shipping can be a little crazy sometimes. So I bought all of these thermal shirts a long, long time ago. They are cacique brand. And they're just, um, when I buy them, the tags are marked through like this. I just disclosed that in my listing. I just sold one of these for $6.81 plus shipping. Right now, I am looking for a size 22-24. So there we have it. Um, again, it's kind of like a sleep shirt. So the buyer pays the shipping on that. Just a bread and butter item. Again, marked through. But these items do sell. I probably have... Uh, over the course of the last, I don't know, five years, I probably had about 50 of these listed. So I'm starting to run lower, but I do have them in every size. 
and it's just a nice little bread and butter that keeps selling over and over multi-quantity listing. One thing I love about clothing, it's super easy to ship. So I just throw it in this poly mailer. I'm gonna put the weight into eBay. I'm gonna get my shipping label. I'm gonna run it through my Dymo and slap it right there and done. Well, we've got this little set of ornaments, which I think right there is pretty cool. We'll see if they're broken. Uh, yes, please, willow tree. Let's see. Ooh, thank you very much. Beautiful. Wow, that's lovely. All of these things are gonna be coming to whatnot. I'm gonna have one more, ah, if I don't break it, another Christmas sale. So I've got more stuff that I pulled um, from the garage, stuff that I've had, and then we're gonna add some of this stuff to it. Another little angel, we can put that with the other one. It's this guy. He is a drummer boy. Christmas tree nativity collection. Huh. Uh, this I'll probably just donate. It's actually kind of a nice jug though. I don't know, it's got the thing on the front. We'll see. Oh, look how cute. He might just be a dollar store. Uh, creative design. I don't know, I'm just gonna donate him. She's cute, but I'm just gonna donate her. Ah, oh, look at him. He is made in China. Let's see. I'm just gonna donate it. I'm probably donating things that people are gonna be like, I want that. Believe in angels. That's got a lot of wear to it. Frosty days. Hallmark. It's got some crazing. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could bring it and see if anyone's interested. Snowman. This is... I'm looking for like something. This is Greenbrier Dollar Store. Um gonna donate Hawthorne Village I feel like I got Hawthorne Village from auctions for you and I sold it for big money I don't know if it's the same Hawthorne Village but those are cute but the one is looks like it's missing a horn or something I want to know what's in here let's see what's this St. Nicholas Square. Uh, I think I'm just gonna donate it. What's this? Donate. Teleflora, that's a, probably had a plant or something in it. Different candle and a candle. All this will get donated. Let's see what this is. Is it anything good? Get out of there. Er, er, er. All right, hang on. Let's pull it out here. Made in China. Okay, the next item. You guys, my money pile grew. Just saying. <laughs> This is what I'm thinking. I'm going to have to bring some of this stuff to whatnot because most of this stuff is just toys. And I mean, the amount of stuff I have, this is all Paw Patrol up here. Paw Patrol. I've got cars, tons and tons of these cars. I've got oh, cats meow up there. So let me know if you guys want to see toys and stuff like that on whatnot. Okay, we're heading over to Tote 27 here. And... I try to have these organized, but sometimes they get, um, the numbers get moved around. So where is tote 27? It's right here. This is a bolo, this item. And again, let's hope it's in this tote and I didn't mess up. I have a little system. I showed it in another video of how I find items. Um, 
when I put them in the wrong box. But I sold one of these belt buckles and I've done a video on these before. If you don't know, these are definitely a bolo. This sold for, I think $77.50. It's E-L-O and it's made by Pacifica. And I got these at a garage sale. Um, this one's 1977. And my cost of goods, I paid one price for all of them. So about $1.75 in this into $77. So definitely be on the lookout for these belt buckles. They are a nice little bolo. All right, I'm gonna show you another shipping tip and I've showed this before, but if you missed it, it is a good one. So I have this going first class and it sold for $77.50, okay? So shipping with everything in is gonna be 401. If I go down here to um, insurance on eBay, ship coverage is gonna be $1.70. USPS insurance on this is going to be $3.35. So I'm going to take you over to Pirate Ship and show you how I do it. Okay, so I'm over here on Pirate Ship. My shipping is going to be $3.76. Um, the USPS rate increase, I guess, is $0.25, cents, but my shipping insurance is only $0.80. Cents. So my total cost is going to be $4.81 compared to if I choose the first class plus the USPS, it's going to cost me $7.36. If I use the ship cover insurance, which is cheaper, it's going to cost me $5.71. So I'm saving so much money by using pirate ship and from what I understand, the um, question a lot of people ask me is, how are they with claims? And the people that I've talked to that have had a claim said that they have had no issues when they file an insurance claim. I personally have not filed one yet, thankfully. And um, this is how I do all of my first class packages that are over $50. All right, is this gonna be good? Ah, oh, more of those. It's too bad these aren't like cool. I just feel like they look cheap. Let's see, what are they made by? Oriental Trading Company, yeah. They're just cheap. I mean, it's not that they're horrible, but I don't know. I think I'm just gonna donate them. Should I bring them? Because they're not expensive things, but I guess I could auction them low. Maybe somebody likes gingerbreads. I don't know. Ugh. That's it. So I have a nice little pile to keep. Um, I will bring it over to Whatnot. So come follow me, Bolo Buddies, down um, in the description. You can get $15 to shop if you've never joined Whatnot. So hope to see you there. All right, we're in tote 10 and I have a camel and you can see it's already in a box. That's because somebody bought this from me and they didn't check the measurements and when they got it, it did not fit their nativity. So it got returned to me, thankfully all in one piece. It's made in Italy. This sold for $21.70 plus shipping. So I'm gonna be shipping this out again for the second time and hopefully the buyer read how big it is or looked at my measurements. Okay, so I just shipped last night. So all of these items have, these orders have come in um, overnight. I think I have 11 to ship out. Right now I'm looking for a Stampin' Up. Right here it is, right here. It is a uh, stamp, a punch, a punch. And I got this at the Goodwill bins and I reuse a Ziploc bag. So I, this is a bag from a garage sale and I just hang on to them, hold on. And instead of everything just being scattered in the tote, I have, sometimes I bundle things, so I just keep everything in plastic bags. So I will take it out of the bag, I will put this with my bags, and I will reuse this. This came from the Goodwill bins, so less than a pound, it's $1.89 a pound at my Goodwill bins, and this one is Stampin' Up, and that is the pattern. And I sold this for $15.50 plus shipping. Oh, the Victoria's Secret Brawls. Such a pain to find the one you're looking for. These are all Victoria's Secret Brawls. This one's gonna be a little easier because it is kind of a blue color. So I'm just gonna like dig through here and look for this blue brawl. And I think I just found it. Right there it is. Like I said, if I'm looking for a black one 
or um, a color that I have a bunch of, it's a little bit harder. Um, I have a ton of different styles that are black. I just want to make sure. Yep, 32D. Now, these came from a discount store. So what I do is I include a photo of this. They have, um, I forget what this is called. It's in my listing. Or they're marked through, but they are all marked through. They're new without tags, but they are... Um, uh, so you can't return them to the store. They all have some sort of line or mark through the tag. Like this one, the Victoria's Secrets actually cut off the main tag, but the second tag is there. And that is to prevent store returns. You guys, you can sell these all day long as long as you disclose that in your listing. Ended up taking a best offer of $9. The buyer was all in for $16 for this Victoria's Secret bra. So I think one of the hardest things about... Um, I think one of the hardest things about shipping is finding my items. <laughs> so this is uh, my multi-tote, I call this. Um, it's a tote bag. And I've got a whole bunch of jewelry in here. So I'm looking for a little mask. So I just kind of have to search until I find it. And there it is. And then I got to throw everything back in the bag. I'm going to turn off the phone and do that real quick. But this is all jewelry. This is all packed with jewelry that's listed. Jewelry, jewelry. I have another place that I have jewelry. So I just keep um, in the custom SKU where the items are. And again, everything is bagged. That makes it so much easier for me to find things as opposed to them just being all like together and intertwined, especially when you get into necklaces and stuff. So that is how I choose to do it. This sold, I believe, for $8.50 plus shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale for 25 cents. So when I have things like this, if they are breakable, I will bubble wrap them first. If they are not, I will just take that and I will put it down into this little thing. Um, I forget what these are called. Everybody calls, every time I post these, they're like, oh, they look like the little things from McDonald's. They're not. They're like gift card holders or whatever. And then I fold it down on both sides and it does provide protection to the item. I mean, even if you squeeze it in, it still doesn't like, it, they're pretty strong. And I will throw this in a poly mailer. And that's how I ship a lot of jewelry and small toys. My phone just went cha-ching. And it's one of my favorite sleepers. One of these items that I always find. And I cannot grab it fast enough. And I usually get them for like a quarter. Okay? It's a sleeper. So stay tuned. If you've watched me for a while, you're going to know about this one. But if you're new. All right. We are in tote 38. And right here they are. These are little Christmas ornament books and they are definitely a, a bolo. Now most of them are bread and butter. Hang on, the bag's open. Most of these are bread and butter, but um, this one went for a little more. This went for $24, I believe in 50 cents. And I just got the cha-ching. They didn't even make me an offer. They just paid my sale price. So $24.50 plus shipping for this. You guys, it's a little... Um, it's a, a Christmas ornament. It's a Kurt Adler 1982, but it's got little recipes in it. It is adorable. So nice bolo right there. Definitely pick these up anytime you see them. I've still got this one listed in my store. So hopefully that one will sell soon. And we're going to get everything put back into this tote and get this item shipped out. All right, let's go on to the next item. All right, so it looks like it sold for $24.80 plus shipping and tax all in for $32.64 for this little vintage ornament. Okay, so I literally just accepted an offer on another Victoria's Secret brawl. Um, <laughs> ah, back to the Victoria's Secret. It is a... It's a bralette. Now, I will say that I feel like underwire bras you're going to get more money for. The bralettes just don't go for as much. The color I'm looking for is this right here. It's this bra, but you see, this is an extra small. I need the medium, so I got to keep on digging here, and I'm not going to torture you guys with the dig unless this is it right here. Am I going to get lucky? Is this going to be a size medium? It's a small. Okay, I'm going to keep digging. If you guys need a bra, you know where to find me. All right, literally just had a Poshmark sale. It is this elf on the shelf. It's the book and the elf. I sold that for $11 on Poshmark. And we're going to get that shipped out. thing pretty cool about Poshmark is everything ships in these priority mail boxes. Because, or, you know, priority mail packaging like this. But... 
everything goes priority mail. So I'm going to take this and I am just going to slide it in to this box. I did bubble wrap the book. I'm just going to leave the little elf in there and then put a little sticker on it. I'm not a super fancy shipper, you guys. I don't put bells and whistles and bows and all that fancy stuff. You get usually a sticker from me. Um, maybe some tissue, depending on what it is. I will tape that down because I was going to use this for something else and it didn't fit right. So, um, I got to seal that better because I already started to use it. So yeah, super easy to ship on Poshmark. I love that feature. Another little tip about Poshmark, if you've never sold on Poshmark, is five pounds or less ships for one price. And I think it's just under $8. So if you have like a, a game or something that's five pounds or four and a half pounds, sometimes Poshmark has cheaper shipping than eBay and your item may sell quicker on Poshmark. So I do recommend that you cross post your items because there's going to be different eyes on your items and those shipping rates are going to change. So somebody may be more likely to pick it up over on Poshmark. All right, I sold a Lego set. It says tote 45. So again, I got to move stuff around and try to find this Lego set. Um, the Lego set came out of a mystery box, so I don't have a whole lot in it. So I went ahead and took a best offer of $8.50 for this. The box has some damage. I just disclosed that in the listing and sold it cheaper because of that. Um, a lot of times, you know, if somebody's buying this for their kid to just open the package, they don't really care. If a collector is buying this, you're going to want to show uh, pictures of the box because a collector is not going to buy this. They're going to want the box to be in excellent condition. So there is a little uh, tip for you. Okay, so I'm on my sold page here and you can see this is my custom SKU. This comes over to the sold page. So it tells me that this is in tote 45. It tells me that I got this out of a mystery box and that this item is on Poshmark and Mercari. So I need to go over to Poshmark and Mercari and I need to remove this item. Um, I cross post with List Perfectly. I start on eBay and I cross post. And um, if you wanna try that, you can check out a video down below. I'll show you how I do it exactly. And you can use coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. All right, this next item is in Tote 44. I picked this up at the thrift store. It's not really an item that I would typically pick up. I'm actually pretty shocked that I picked it up. And we're going to see if we can find it real quick. Where are you? Um, it is a Jester Clown. And... Um, Again, the way I, I use huge totes, some people use banker boxes and those are probably easier to find your items, but I just really like having, um, I like the big totes. So uh, they are more expensive, but I recently got a whole bunch from an estate. All right, I'm gonna turn this off and find this item. I'll be back. Guys, I've been looking through this tote and I'm like, I messed up, it's not in this tote, I can't find it. And then I um, started putting stuff back in. And it was one of the first things I pulled out. So I was talking to you guys and I was all distracted. Um, but I found it. So let's get that shipped. All right, Boyd's Bears. Do I pick them up? Yes. If I can get them for a dollar or less, even without the tags, I will pick them up. Typically, they are bread and butter. This one is vintage. I sold this for $10. The buyer was all in for $18.18. Now, if you can find the little Boyd's Minis, those go for big money. Um, I have a video on it and you should definitely check that out. They are still trending, still going for sometimes a hundred to two hundred dollars a piece i also sold this little vintage fisher price sold this for eight dollars and the buyer was all in for 14.26 anytime i find the vintage fisher price little people i do pick them up i will either sell them individually or in small lots so i've also got these two items going out this here is another i'm just going to throw it inside this little red pouch and put it in a poly mailer. So uh, love these for small toys, jewelry, stuff like that. Very durable, as I showed you before. He is going to go into a bubble wrap mailer, and I'll show you that. You see his eyes? I will cover those first with an extra sheet of bubble wrap. Anything that has eyeballs like that, I'm going to cover, and then I'll tape it around the back, and then I will put it in a bubble mailer. Okay, so I added the bubble wrap around the eyes. That's to keep the eyes from getting scratched during shipment. I threw it in this poly mailer that has the bubbles and it is ready to go. So these two items are ready to uh, slap labels on. I will put 
this right here into this. One tip is to put the label on first and then slip it inside. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to get your label on. All right, Bola Buddies, let me know if you liked this type of style of video where I kind of mixed it up with an unboxing and a what sold and pulling packages and kind of a mixture. So let me know down in the comments. Vlog style, yes. Vlog style, no. All right, so um, I'm going to get those items in the mail today and they're going to go out today on Saturday. So that is going to make the load much lighter on Monday. Um, typically I ship Friday night and then I don't ship again until Sunday, but things have been really, really busy. Christmas season, you know how it is. I'm having the whatnot show tomorrow night. So, oh my goodness, the shipping is going to probably be crazy. Um, whatnot down below, follow me in, um, click on that and you can follow my show. Bookmark it. I'm out of breath. I just ran up the steps. Oh my goodness. How do you know if you're over 40? You go up the steps and you're out of breath. Okay, so um, what not show down below. Bookmark it and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.